kind of game. Um, I put in the write-up a couple of games from Jorge Camistani, um, which are kind of my go-to serve games. Uh, serve Eliminator and Serve Number. It, just Google those, you know, you'll, you'll get hits. Um, but whatever it is, you know, it has to be some kind of drill, some kind of game. Like at least four out of five times. I think it's good to once a week say, okay, just get a bucket full, full of balls and just hit them out. And you, you can kind of see what they do. You can kind of see if they are working on the tips that you gave them and the checkpoints that you gave them. But, um, you know, like once a week you can have this kind of free serving practice. But um, you definitely want to keep them focused on the serve. Um, okay. All right. So, so one more thing. So, I call this the cycle forehand. Have you, you guys have all seen this, right? It's the most intuitive thing. If you just get someone a racket and throw a ball at them, this is what they're going to do. So. You know, I do the elephant ball, and you know this really short toss, tap, and catch that we did at the beginning. That kind of prevents this shot because the ball is going to stay low. So they kind of they kind of have to hit on like a real forehand or a real backhand, you know, in that situation. And then the elephant ball kind of helps prevent that. Um, but I think you know, for some kids, it, it's their first year. Maybe that's their best shot to have fun and to play matches. And also, like, some kids are just going to use it. You can do all the instruction you want, and then in a pressure situation, in a match situation, I mean, you're going to know which kids are just going to do this, right? So you got to be honest, and I think you can talk about, like, the tactics of that shot. Like, you can say, this is really good, as long, but you are married to the strike zone. So you got to really anticipate, you got to really get to every ball, right up here, because if the ball gets low on you, you're going to spike it, right? If you try to hit a backhand, you're probably going to injure your wrist. So you got to really anticipate and really get to every ball in your strike zone, and when your opponent does get a low ball for you, then you're just going to have to turn sideways, bend your knees, and hit like a real forehand or backhand, low to high. Um, because I've seen some good, you know, psycho baller matches, like some really competitive matches. Um, and for their first year, you know, maybe that's okay. You can say, you're going to take my workshops over the summer, you're going to learn a real forehand, and next year I want you guys hitting a real forehand. And also with that conversation, you can have the, the conversation of um, how to beat a psycho baller, right? So, if you're playing against someone and this is their shot, keep the ball low, try to make them hit a backhand, try to make them hit from behind the baseline, because if they hit from back here, it tends to just be a really floaty ball, right? To me, this shot is, it's like the poor man swinging volley, like, if you're here, you know, and you take the ball, you can do pretty well with it. Or um, a deep short combination, right? If I get a deep and then short, He's either going to have to hit a backhand or the ball is going to be low. So, you know, how to beat a cycle baller is a good conversation you can have. Um, and then now, you know, you're talking about tactics. Um, you know, maybe you don't teach some kids a ton of technique the first year, but you just get them to understand the game. You know, left, right, deep, short. Try to figure out their opponent, what are their opponent's weaknesses. So, you know, you can focus on tactics with some kids. I mean, I think that's a, it is a legitimate question. How much do I focus on technique and how much do I focus on tactics? But I mean, certainly next year down the road, you want them to hit real forehand and you want them to serve with a continental grip. All right, guys. All right, guys, so any questions? All right, so I'm just, I'm gonna show you guys one more game. Um, you guys can jump all your balls. No, you know what? Let's jump all my balls and just one of these buttons. Okay.
All right, guys. So this game is called Speed. It's a single game. Um, it can be surprisingly good with a lot of people on the court. So let me get all the hitters down here, please. Yeah, come on, guys. Come on, birthday light. All right. So I'll can divide these guys into two teams. You guys are team one. You guys are team two. And let's have you guys stand in a line. Let's say, okay, so he's the first hitter on team one, she's the first hitter on team two. Let me have you guys stand in the way so they can kind of see. So I'll explain the game. Right here, guys. Right here. All right, so we'll say he's right there. Perfect. So he's going to feed, this is all singles. The name of the game is Speed. So he's going to feed, he's going to play a point versus this guy. Whoever wins stays on the court. Whoever loses goes back to the end of the line. Whoever's on the losing team feeds. And you can do a jerk feed. Like uh, if he gets pulled off the court, and, and what happens to win the point, the person on that side of the court can do a quick feed, and the guy is, is probably you know, not gonna win because he's off the court, right? So jerk feeds are permitted. It has to be underhand. It does not have to be a courtesy feed. And the way you win a point for your team is by staying on the court and winning three points in a row. If you win three points in a row, both, both of you go off, and then uh, the losing team still always feeds them. All right, guys, so let's, let's give this a try. It's like you can get a lot of hits and play singles with like eight people is not too many. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys this, and can you just roll those balls back a little bit? I'm gonna give you guys this. So it's really important that the teammates stay against the curtain, okay, so you're not in his way. And have a ball with you, because you might need to do a jerk feed, so have a ball on you so you're ready to feed. And usually we just play games to three, because it's kind of hard to score in this game. All right, let's say you feed first, you gotta get, and let's get a line. You gotta know who's next on that team, guys, so make a line. Okay, zero, zero. Okay, one point over here. Next person feeds. If he gets three in a row, their team gets a point. Okay, one point over here. He feeds. And remember, you can do a jerk feed, guys. So if they get pulled off the court or if they're confused, Any questions? 
All right, guys. Um, thank you for your attention. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, I'll be around today. I love talking shop, so don't be shy about having me on the shoulder. Uh, and thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, let's get the balls and the French fries up, please. Chip Fazio, everyone is here for me again. Chip Fazio, come on. All right. Yeah, hey, Chip, let me tell you, the guy said he's, he's uh, giving autographs over here at the table. It's 50 bucks an autograph, okay? 50, 50 bucks. Hey, we got a 10 minute break right now before our next uh, presenter. And uh, that means you want to go visit your vendors. If you have any questions, let us know. We look forward to having you guys out here. So you get about 10